Uh, uh, okay. If this store has this crazy stuff in it, I wonder what on earth the armory is like. I mean, it's got to be crazy. Golden ship model. Okay. Yeah, I want to draw my weapon on the way out of the store. Uh, so, I have... I'm going to make a beeline for the armory. I mean, for the uh, blacksmith shop now. Huh. Invisible, uh, invisible wall here. Hmm. I'll have to be fixed. I mean, the... If the home decor shop had that crazy stuff in it... Okay, so there's Marlene's Inn. Riverhelm Farmhouse. What a farm! Wow, look at this. You've got like... 20... Yards... If that... Of farm space. Wow. Huh. I mean, that is a massive farm right there. Okay, I'm gonna see how. Never mind. That would be stupid. <laughs> um. Anyway, so where is the blacksmith forge? Where's the blacksmith forge? Is it up here? It's gotta be up here. Um. Well, here's, uh, where the guards practice. Um, Hunter's Guild. Huh. I, I'm, I, I have got to see what the Blacksmith Forge has, if there is one. There's got to be a freaking forge here. I mean, to make all the guards awesome armor and everything. Huh. Could have sworn I saw one. I could have sworn up and down I saw one on my uh, previous recording. Uh -uh. Hmm. Could be this. Could be. Huh. What is this? The bakery. So yeah. It, oh, here we go. It's probably this, I guess. No? Huh. There should be a forge here. I mean, there really should be... I mean, like... Not a forge, because there's obviously a forge here, but there should be... Um, there should be a blacksmith shop where you can buy swords and stuff. Huh. There's a guy using a smelter. Hmm. Wait, maybe I can... No? Huh. Bomber. Yeah, I get it, dude. I get it. What's this? The ingredients store. Huh. The bakery. So you've got a home furnishing shop, a bakery, and a place to buy alchemy greens, but you don't have a, a blacksmith shop? Strange choice. Oh. Those, yeah, are the fabled croakers. Argonians. Uh, they're really nothing to be afraid of. Uh, I've already crawled the, uh, I've already crawled their croaker dungeon deal. Um, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not up to the level of the rest of the castle, you know what I'm saying? So, I still don't get the choice behind not having a blacksmith shop. But anyway, so now that we've explored all the interesting uh, interiors in the city, it's time to set our goals on something a little bit higher, I think. How about we become knights? 
of, uh, how about, how about we come Knights of Riverhelm? Yeah, you can actually do that. You can actually become a Knight of Riverhelm. Uh, how, again, how do you, how do you do this in the creation kit? I don't know, but, anyway, so, um, yeah. Um, I pretty much know the routine, because I did it before in the other recording, so, uh, so what you have to do is you have to go to the, um, you have to actually go to the castle sort of body itself, uh, which you see straight ahead as you enter the city, and then for 15,000 gold, you can buy the title of Knight of Riverhelm, and basically every so often you'll get, uh, you'll get a salary that will be deposited in a chest in the house that you also buy with the title. Um, so it's a good way to make some money. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, what you can do is if you've just got 15,000 gold, um, you can buy the title of Knight of Riverhelm, and then you can also buy a mine within the city, and you'll basically be earning gold twice as fast. And then uh, it'll just be a short time before you're actually able to buy the title of King of Riverhelm. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to eventually work our way up to... Uh, to uh, the title of King of Riverhelm, but we're going to do it legitimately, using the resources that the mod and the game provide. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a series, so you can uh, kind of consider this the first part of the series. So yeah, oh yeah, how do you like the court gesture? That's pretty cool. Uh, so uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and buy the title of Knight of Riverhill. I would like to purchase securities and properties in Riverhill. Huh. So it costs 50,000 gold to buy the mine. So you could just, you could buy the mine or you could become king. <laughs> what a choice! Anyway. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, solemnly swear before God, uh, kill your enemies, da, 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 I'm a knight. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really paying much attention to that at all. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, how the game audio got a little bit louder, that's because I decided to hold my mic up to the, uh, up to the speaker so that you could hear the speech a little bit better. So, yeah, I think after we explore the manor, I'm going to call it apart. Uh, I'm going to call it apart because this is almost, this file is seriously almost 60 gigabytes of, you know, it's almost 60 gigabytes. So, um, once we get to the manor and once we've explored it, I'm going to cut it off. I mean, it's already 34 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, so, yeah, it really does want cutting. So, anyway, uh...
how did we get into the sea? Because that's where the... Oh, that's what... Here it is. Yeah. So I believe we enter the scene. We go uh, uh, forward and to the right. This can be uh, just a hop, skip, and a jump um, down. So I think that's where we go. Uh, yeah, there it is, right there. So, yeah, uh, pretty pimpin' house, as you can see. I mean, it's not as big as a knight deserves, but then again, if they, uh, if they had every single one of these, uh, knights guarding this place, uh, living in a sprawling manor the size of, uh, Dragon's Reach, then... Well, I shuddered to think. I shuddered to think about what would do to your game. Who are you, and what are you doing in my house? Can you please kindly go away? Also, you have the weirdest face I've ever seen. Okay, so anyway, the house. I mean, it's not huge or anything, but it does look pretty sick, you have to agree. Uh, so if these people would, yeah, kind, kindly let me buy, um, yeah, I definitely like the aesthetic. And you've also got a, a shrine of Telus here, and a key box. Who's this? The Knight of Riverhelm, King of Riverhelm title. Mine of River. Okay, so no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're we're gonna play this legit. We're gonna play this like it was meant to be played. So yeah, you've also got this uh, bedroom slash study here with your uh, awesome Knight of Riverhelm armor. So I'm gonna snatch that up, snatch that up, that and that, and uh, I'm gonna put all this stuff on. And the first thing we're going to do in the next part is we are going to crawl the sewers of Riverhelm in the name of the king of Riverhelm. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. Uh, could Yeah, I think we could do away with that. Uh, let's also get rid of some of the heavier weapons. Uh, that we've got uh, Iron Great Sword of Dismay is gone. Uh, pickaxe, you never know when you when you might need to mine something, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, Staff of Mage Light is basically useless. Staff of the Familiar could potentially be useful, uh, and we're gonna do away with this thing here. I think you. I think that comes with the Skyrim Monsters mod. So, uh, anyway, now that we're uh, no longer encumbered, we are going to leave and we are going to crawl the sewers in the name of the King of Riverhelm. So yeah, that was part one or part two. Come to think of it, I might uh, divvy it up into two uh, into two separate parts. Um, but yeah, that was part one or part two of uh, of my review of uh, of uh, Riverhelm. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty fantastic mod, and uh, and if you like epic mods that add just a ton of stuff to do to the game, then you should definitely check it out. It's on uh, Skyrim Nexus, and I believe it's also on Steam Workshop. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, you can look it up on the Steam Workshop and the Skyrim Nexus, and feel free to uh, uh, give it a you know give an endorsement or a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to it, favorite it, whatever. Um, yeah, because I can guarantee you, you will not be disappointed with this mod at all. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be sort of a series. This is going to be uh, not only a review of Riverhelm, but it's also going to be uh, a series on our quest. Uh, you and me are going on this quest together. It's going to be sort of our quest to become the kings of Riverhelm absolutely legitimately. Um, you know, I might have to use TCL, like, if I get stuck in a hole or something. But other than that, it's going to be a completely legit uh, run through until we are able to finally save up enough gold to get the title of King of Riverhelm. Um, uh, so we're going to call this series Quest for the Crown. It kind of like Aunt Vim's Quest for the Golden Apple, or uh, Hunt for the Golden Apple, except, you know, I think this is probably going to be a little bit, l it could be a little bit longer. Uh, so yeah. This is both part one or two of my uh, of my review of this mod, and it's part one or two of uh, of Quest for the Crown. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I should have another one ready in just a in just a few minutes. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to like, comment. Uh, fave, subscribe, uh, and uh, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you guys in just a few minutes as I film the next part of this review. So, uh, GP seventy five out.